questions. A person says, a friend borrowed money, which I knew he could not return back due to his financial condition. So, in my heart, I, for I forgave it, but did not tell him. If he comes in a position to return it, can I accept it? Can I take this money back? First of all, forgiving something that you had lent to someone who's in need is a great deed in Islam, and you'll be highly rewarded for it. When you drop off a debt upon someone who's unable to pay it off, Allah Azza wa Jal will highly reward you for that. Secondly, gifts in Islam are not mandated until the one that you give him that gift possesses it and has it in his control to do whatever he wants. So a promise is not binding. If I go to a person and say to him, oh, your wedding is next month. Well, I'll buy you a refrigerator for your kitchen. And he says, oh, Zakallah khair, that's very kind of you. And I change my mind. And he says, where is my fridge? Said, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna buy it, sorry. He doesn't have the right to say, Akhi, this is my fridge. Even if I bought the fridge and it's in my home, waiting for me to give it to him, because he did not possess it. So any gift that does not change hands and becomes in the possession of the one given to is not binding. I give my son, I give my brother $10,000 as a gift and I show him the money, I show him the check, I show him the gold, but I do not give it to him in his hand. He does not possess it yet. And then I change my mind. I have the right to take these 10K and sell it, throw it, buy things with it, and he has no right in demanding it because the gift was not finalized. Thirdly, if I did not verbally say it, rather it's in my heart. So he took a thousand euros from me. And in my heart I said, I'm not gonna take it. A month later, he comes and brings the thousand to me. I didn't speak about it, it's just an intention. There's no problem in taking the money and putting it in my wallet or using it or spending it. There's no problem. Because I did not say anything. That was an intention only. Fourthly, if I were to tell him, so a month later, I told him, listen, bro, the thousand euros you borrowed from me, by the way, it's a gift from me. I uh, uh, dropped off this loan and it's yours. You don't have to return it. Can I change my mind a week or a month later and ask for it? The majority of scholars say, no, this is prohibited. On the basis of the Prophet والسلام, saying, we Muslims don't have the, a bad example. We have the highest and the best of all examples. A person who retracts his gift is like a dog vomiting, then eating its vomit. And this is disgusting and gross, but this shows you how bad it is for someone to retract his gift. Now the majority said that you cannot retract it after notifying him that you dropped your right in this loan. Why? Because he already has it in his hand, in his possession. So by declaring that you've dropped it, then the gift has been delivered. And this is the most authentic opinion and Allah Azza wa Jal knows best. So again, Shaykh, we we're confused. What is it that you want to say? 
If it's an intention, you did not tell him about it, if he returns it, you can accept it. It's best that you, as long as you made it for the sake of Allah, to give it to someone else who's in need or give it in charity. But if you don't, it's your money without any problem. 